Hi Founder fans, Jason here. Today we're going to be talking about revolutionary artist Patience Wright. And this is the second time I'm shooting this video because, well, apparently you're supposed to hit record before you shoot videos. Whoopsies! Anyway, um, I, I do want to say also before we start, I love the name Patience. When we were having our first child and did not know what gender would be arriving, I was a very much a proponent of naming a daughter Patience. Uh, but we did not have a daughter, so knock yourself out if you like that name. Anywho, Patience Wright was a very poor woman who got married to a lowly barrel maker uh, around the time of the French and Indian War. And they had some kids, and then her husband passed away. Sad. Patience needed to make some money to feed her, her family and clothe and house her family. And she had always had this habit of taking used candle wax and sculpting it into little images of her friends and family. And she realized, hey, maybe I should open up a shop and put my work on display. Now, this was a novelty at the time. In, Phila in colonial Philadelphia, there were not many museums of art or science or anything like that. Um, they were not as fortunate as we are today to be able to say, hey, let's, let's go in a museum and look at some art, yada yada. So Patience opens up this shop and she makes about 40 life-size sculptures of people. And she uses glass eyeballs uh, to make them very lifelike. She dressed them up in clothes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and people came, and they paid money, and she did really, really, really well. And the more people came, the more recognition she got, and she started living uh, and, and enjoying the higher circles of society. And, and eventually, she decides to, she takes her work on tour, and goes as far south as South Carolina. People pay in to see this interesting work she did. Apparently, they were very lifelike. Uh, and then she decides to move her shop to New York City and builds a bigger shop and has more sculptures in it. And then there was a fire and it burned down and her wax sculptures didn't hold up very well to the fire. Sad. So Patience says, well, I've made some money now and uh, clearly people really like my work, so I need to start again. So she decides to take a boat over to London. Now at the time, in the English-speaking world, London was uh, the, the mecca of art and, and high society. Um, and if you really wanted to make it as an artist, and if you spoke English, <laughs> was to go to London. So she did that. And again, she is very successful. She even sculpts King George III. That's how successful she was. Now, when the revolution breaks out, Patience, a patriot, uh, is fairly outspoken about her approval of the rebels and disapproval of Parliament. The, that was thumbs down. I didn't get all the way down. This is... I'm not being wishy-washy. <laughs> so, now, legend has it that what Patience did is she would write letters back to the colonies discussing troop movements and the plans of the British government for suppressing the rebellion. And she would take these letters and she would put them inside her sculptures and ship them back to the United States. Now a quick side note, uh, the TV show Turn that I like to reference, and which is a lot of fun to watch but has a lot of errors, uh, there is a woman who does just this in one of the episodes. Now I don't believe they say her name as Patience Wright, but Again, we can't really prove that she sent these letters. It was in secret. This is a legend. Um, but we do know that she was a lot older than the woman who was in that show and was probably a lot less promiscuous than the woman in that show. Uh, but that's neither here or there. I did point it out. Go watch that show, but be careful. There's a lot of inaccuracies. But it's still fun. Anyway, back to Patience. So the king finds out that Patience uh, is supporting the rebels so she decides I better get out of here <laughs> and she jumps across the channel and goes to France and she goes to Paris where she sculpts French people 
and uh, she happens to run into an uh, old man named Benjamin Franklin, who is now in France, trying to get them to support the rebels. So Patience uh, sculpts Benjamin Franklin. Uh, now, while she's there, if these sculptures that are lifelike and have clothes sound kind of familiar, you may recognize the name Madame Tussauds. Tussaud. I'm bad at pronunciation. Madame Tussaud, who has several wax museums around the world. Madame Tussaud was also in Paris at this time, and she also sculpted Benjamin Franklin about this time. Now, I looked real hard, and I cannot find any documentations to prove that Patience Wright and Madame Tussaud met and knew each other, but they were both in France, sculpting the same people, in the same circles, there's probably a pretty good chance the two women knew each other. Again, that speculation, I cannot prove that. But logic would make that assumption seem fairly reasonable from my perspective. Now, uh, we'll get back to Madame Tussaud later. So, the war ends, and English-speaking patients write goes back to London. And she opens another shop, and she's pretty successful, but her story kind of fades from there. She passes away a few years later, because she had aged uh, over decades. Um, but not long after that, about 15 years later, the French Revolution breaks out. And Madame Tussaud is in Paris saying, oh man, they're killing all my friends. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. So Madame Tussaud goes to London opens up her own wax museum. And that becomes wildly successful. To the point where now, 200 plus years later, she still has museums around the world. The biggest one is still in London. And, now this is speculation, but it certainly seems that the time Patience Wright had spent in London gave Londoners an appetite for life like wax sculptures. So, from my perspective, by my deductions, uh, not deductions, I've deduced that uh, Patience Wright had a big hand in building the wax museum, not fad, I'll say craze, that still has a legacy, even in America, to this day. So that's the interesting story about wax sculptor Patience Wright. If you like this, please hit like. If you really liked it, make sure you subscribe so you can see other videos where we chit-chat about American revolutionaries. For now, I'm Jason. Thank you for watching, and you have a great afternoon.